All right, we just uh, stopped uh, the video number two there. So there's an intro about how to find the suits that you like, that you need, that you want to have. Because Arc Linux does not have a office suit for good reason. You can watch that in video one. Now, we have put everything together. Arc Linux Nemesis is a GitHub and it has scripts, scripts to make our life easy. Once we figure out how to install LibreOffice. It has already been discovered or written about it, but you go always ArchWiki, start with that. And then you look something out about NVIDIA, about systemd, about any word that comes up into you. In your, in, so like LibreOffice or, or OpenOffice, just start typing and get hopefully a link. And you see already a package. This is a package we can install. So that's what we're gonna need. But there are elements you can learn and, and read. Installing LibreOffice and Arch Linux, we're gonna look at that, right? That's how you acquire knowledge. Put it in a script for later. Clean install, run the script, you're back in business. So, LibreOffice, first ArchWiki, always. A free power packed open source personal productivity suit for Windows, Macintosh and Linux. That's true. Writer, calc, impress, draw, math, and base database. How do we install it? This is a maintenance branch. This is the feature branch with new program enhancements. So probably you're gonna need one this. It's a decision you take. I'm not gonna take LibreOffice Fresh or I'm gonna take Still. So we move over here. This guy goes over here. That guy goes over here. We have a script ready with just change this Inksy guy to Linux, to, to LibreOffice version one. And we're gonna cover things. Go like this. Have I written it correctly? LibreOffice dash fresh, check. This code that's from here till here, well, we should actually test it out, is just this line. And basically it's just this line. This is the one that's gonna kick in. Without confirmation, if you're running scripts, you don't wanna say yes, 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 yes all the time. So without conf confirmation, install the package. And the package is a variable that's up here. So we can always change here. Nothing needs to be changed down here. That's the idea. In the past, at least one language was required. Currently, it detects your system defaults. Manual installation of language pack is no longer mandatory. See help, etc. If you want UK English language pack, install fresh ENGB, not LibreOffice Fresh UK. So that's interesting to read. And this is Breton, so that's for French, uh, part in, in France. And SDK and QT, visual things. So you start reading just like me, and this is my time to learn something, to read with you and to learn something about this application. So we all need to have, well, the patience to read it. There are some extensions you can have, but this is math, so that's um, all the special signs probably. I don't think that many people of uh, us are going to need it, but it's there. On the AOR there's also, we've seen it already in video number one, I think it was. There are lots of extensions you can change, and here starts the spelling. That was one of the questions I had on Facebook or was it YouTube? So let's first, before we get into the language aids, just a simple LibreOffice fresh installation. Does our script work? That's the first thing. So right mouse click, open terminal here, install me LibreOffice. That's the wrong password, I think. Whoa, and we're off. So what is he doing? Is getting in a lot of stuff. Lip, 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 lip. And here it stops. So it needs a lot of packages. Are they big? And that's the reason why it's not on the ISO. You see? Even though this is the size to install, the download size is still very big indeed. And if everything comes with it, this is just this one. 
but I think altogether it boiled down to I don't know 130 or 140 or 50 so it's a big chunk of our ISO to have a suit and they are all different in size you can as a well developer and as a user you may want to read all these dependencies just quickly and you say if you see something in here that you say ah oh, I'm gonna install that as well but for the time being I say everything is okay and these two guys are installed if you're on plasma uh, KF5 I think is plasma KDE desktop integration then um, yeah KDE yeah. yep then you can install maybe Kyo, Kyo, but I think it's already installed in Plasma generally. Yeah, I think so. So the message here, LibreOffice has been installed. So everything is cool. We can go put that down here. Let's have here. So this is the message we get. So everything installs here. Then it's going to recheck. Is it installed? Yes, no. So if something goes wrong, you get this guy. So, all right, everything is installed. Next up, for spell checking, please make sure Hunt spell is properly installed. Well, I'm not sure if I still have Hunt spell on my system. The best way to install, uh, to make sure, is actually to say remove. If you can remove it, then it's installed, right? So, let's assume that we're making scripts also for the Arch Linux people, phase five, and also maybe for Arch Linux D, because I'm thinking that's not gonna be on there. So what we do, we don't need actually all these things. If this is the complete package, control C, then we say control V, we're gonna make sure that Hunspell is installed because if it's installed, the system uh, double L where are you double L safe and for yourself if you type this nobody will see it's just for yourself so spelling okay you do this down you go up and you run it again it's as simple as that step by step LibreOffice done because he makes loops and he says it's installed already, I don't do anything. And here it says the same, it's installed already, so I don't do anything. That's super, right? It's super fast, and that's because of this, this loop script here that we've made, which is, well, not a loop, it's an if, else, etc. Basically. All right, Hunspell is installed, all right. Then install a language directory for Hunspell like uh, English, American English or German, then enable the writing aids by selecting checkbox in tools, option, language, settings, writing aids, hunt spell checker after starting LibreOffice. Okay, so hmm. we need a cho to, to choose a language, right? Yay, hunt spell. Why yay, why not the other one? Well, yay just gives you everything. It gives you the Arch Linux repos, extra, 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 still okay, still Arch Linux, community, still Arch Linux, and from here it becomes AWAR. So if your language is not in under 35 in this case, right, from 1 to 35, this is the official languages, not available, yeah, then you need to apply and go up and see if it's in here. It might mean it's orphaned, so nobody is taking care of this package anymore. 2016. So, <clears throat> we need to choose a language. So, Hunt spell is installed. It says it as well here. And let's see if we can. I'm going away pretty soon to Berlin, to Germany. Why not go to German Hunspell dictionaries? So we actually see because everything on my system is English. So and then it's easy to see that I've changed the language. If I put it to English, I probably won't notice, right? So I'm gonna 
see if I can have a LibreOffice in German and a Hanspel in German, or we could take it in, Fran in French or something. Uh, but better not in English since everything is already English. A lot of Spanish here, French, here is the French. And Italian is here, could do that as well. Let's choose something, right? Of my own, own language is this one, Dutch. Doesn't really matter, it's just an exercise. All right, decision. Germany, it is number two, okay? So, if I wanted that, Control shift v uh, sorry, C, I'm not gonna run it, I'm gonna script it. Ah, yeah. So this is the guy I need. So, yep, everything goes up, not too much up. Eric, just a little bit up. Well, spelling is okay, I'll change it in something else. So, Hanspel is just this behind it. Let's go for Germany. So, German. We get a German LibreOffice. You change the script, reuse the script, put anything in here you want. Okay. Maybe we should change. Well, let's first run the script. Control C. LibreOffice version one. He asked me something, he wants my password, why? Oh yeah, Hanspel DE is now installed. The spelling check libraries of apps installed. Again, my script says it's installed. Now, if I want German, I probably need to do something more. We have here LibreOffice, which is a big chunk. And all these guys are very small things. Kilobytes, 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 kilobytes. So, Control C, German. And there we are. That's a little bit less. I'm going for the fresh and not the still. So I'm gonna go for LibreOffice Fresh DE. Control C. Control, uh, Control Shift C. Gonna go for Germany. Like this. Now, this guy actually needs to go before the other guy, but it's just copy paste. Control C. So, this is together with LibreOffice Fresh. So I'm gonna put it here in between. And this guy is the name, control X all the way up. I'm basically sell, telling first LibreOffice, then LibreOffice in German, then the Hanspel, which is already installed, then the Hanspel for Germany, and that's it. Actually, we're just doing four things, it's a lot of code for just four things. You can just type it in, right? One behind the other. But in a script, it stays for next time. There you go. LibreOffice Fresh DE is installed as well. All right. And this is how we keep on going and learning about these elements. So it should be the case for both still and uh, and then the language, okay, fine. Then enable the writing aids by selecting the checkbox in the tools option language Hanspel checker. Okay, fine. Is LibreOffice installed? There he is. We need to open, where is this? Is this in base? Is it in office? Calc, draw, impress, math, writer? I have no idea. Maybe this one. This is seems to be a general thing. Uh, oh, not so nice icons here. He wants to go to tools, options, and so on. So I'm guessing this is not the place to be, but let's have a look anyway. Another oh, possibility for extensions. It's all in here. Lots of stuff. No, not lots of stuff. Stuff. So my guess, uh -huh, wait, wait, wait. Tools, options. Mm hmm okay let's let's have a look again 
tools option language settings tools option language settings check languages go from here languages writing aids Hunspell but the rest as well so language Germany locale setting oh my god setting let's be consistent and go for Germany 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 Euro is good. Uh, can we change here as well? Okay, that's already okay, I think. And then Asian, no, not really. And then the writing aids. So, where is my Germany? I see English. Do we add, do we need to add it ourselves, new? Then enable the writing aids by selecting the checkbox. Is there a checkbox? The checkbox is on my friend. It's already there. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh ho. We've found it. It's a little bit hidden away, so we have to open it here and then decide to take Germany. There's German and Belgium even. Let's go for that one. Everything is saved, I hope. Okay, close. Apply. For the updated language settings to take effect, LibreOffice must be restarted. Do you want to restart? Restart now. Willkommen bei LibreOffice. Legen Sie Ihr ein Dokument ab oder wählen Sie auf der linken Seite eine Anwendung aus, um eines zu erstellen. Ist das nicht, nicht unglaublich? Datei öffnen, Datei auf Server. Das funktioniert. So, that works. So, we just did a small little bit here. And what we've not tested actually, um, so the Office writer we're gonna use that one is um, good morgen and aber morgen voila and then sagt er morgen good morgen schlechtes wetter heute heute schreibe ich das mal ein bisschen falsch heute so we're, we're writing actually, um, oh my God, I'm thinking Germany, German now and I need to think English now. So he's going to correct everything. And it's indeed, so that's what I wanted to say. So good morning, uh, bad weather today. That's basically it. And well, he has done, changed anything in here is looking all, 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 all German then did not forget one word it seems just superficial of course of course we can't change anything about that that's LibreOffice nicht speichern abbrechen speichern nicht speichern okay so save or not save that was uh, the word so this is how we will we'll proceed and this is how you should proceed with anything you come across you read the ArchWiki and go and have a look at it and say, okay, now I have already a LibreOffice in a proper language. I have also a spell check. That's also good. But for Finnish, you need to do this. For Greek, you need to do this. Hmm, hyphen, that looks cool. Because hyphen rules are there to make, well, the proper choice in your, in your words, right? So do we need, do we have even hyphen? Is it installed? Eric has thought about it. So it's installed. So it's on the Arch Linux. But again, assuming you're on Arch Linux, you have nothing, clean installation, then you don't have it. So let's make sure that we can reuse our scripts anywhere. Hyphen. 
that's the package. Now you probably think, hey, there are probably gonna be more than one hyphen probably. Every language has its rules. So Germany, English, Spanish, French, Italian, etc. And all the way to the AOR stuff. So I'm gonna stick with this German thing because of my soon to be a travel to Berlin hyphen de needs to be added. So spelling Germany is actually just hyphen and then we're gonna copy paste everything. Control C, Control V and you just change these letters. If you want French, it's not um, DE, it's FR. That's it, that's it. Don't have to do a lot of work for to change these scripts to your needs. Oops, I just wanted to run it again. He wants to know my password. What is he going to do? He's going to install hyphen TE. Fine, next time around after clean installation, run. Set it inside uh, LibreOffice and be done with it. There is also a thesaurus. You'll need this and you need stuff for every language. Ah, and Germany, German has one. So is it installed? Or will we just say whatever, installed or not, I'll test it when I'll run it. Control C, Control V. I think it was called LEBM like this. Okay. Is it installed? Run it. You know it. It was not installed. It's now installed. That's what this says here. What language do we want? Are there different myths? Yay, myths. Oh yeah. But not that much. You see there's it's going to get less and less. But the main languages in the world are there. Okay. Mits D E, this guy. Control C. Now it's gonna call be called Mits D E. Maybe you don't need it, but it won't hurt either. installed it just gives you what is it that's the download size 36 megabyte i think you can spare 36 megabyte and what else greek nope no, not gonna do greek today grammar checking that's also a possibility while the language tool several tools are available a language tool not packaged as a LibreOffice extension. Does not conflict with that one. Oh God, we need to run Java. So I think here I would say grammar check. I'll know to how to construct my own languages, my own, my own sentence, I mean the grammar. Do we need this help? It's up to you. Macros, font. You can always look, this is already troubleshooting, right? So if you're in trouble, <laughs> you shoot. <laughs> Joking, <laughs> troubleshooting, okay. So all problems we don't need, we don't want. What did I write back in the days? when I was writing already the LibreOffice. So LibreOffice fresh, DE, oh, we took DE as well back then. And on English as well, you can find it Pac-Man, ArchWiki, of course, go to the ArchWiki. A lot of information, it says spelling, hyphen, thesaurus already. So I just followed the ArchWiki. There is also the GNOME software, think about the video number one, so you can actually click on it, but as you see, if you want a more 
and more detailed information, the hyphen and so on, we need to go to the terminal. And if you want to reinstall it, you need to have a script, otherwise you have to type it again and again and again every time. You get bored typing all this, all the same stuff. So, Hanspell, done it. Okay, done it, done it, hyphen, hyphen, done it. Done and done. Okay, this is done. But remember when we said there was another article? Oh my God, do hope I can find it. We had an article, here it was, here it was, here. Installing LibreOffice in Arch Linux, Tanmai Chandane or something. It's a free open source. We install it, LibreOffice still, or the fresh one, done that. What more? Oh God, too bad, nothing more. So you keep reading, you keep, keep thinking, do I have it all? This is something else, that's for another video, open office. Uh -huh. no, we're not gonna look into the problems, we just wanna know, have we installed it? Let's do Arch Linux, and then uh, maybe install as well, yeah. We want to find all the knowledge online, how to put it on there and um, see that our script is just the best around. How to install specific parts. The best way, can I have a look? What is the best way? There is testing, repos, that's true. Okay. Oh, that's it. There's some videos we can have a look at. That's my own. <laughs> Not gonna look at my own video. But here we have something, okay. How to install. Ah, something else that's in Facebook, is it? Oh my God, Facebook won't work. By the way, Facebook is down today. We are doing maintenance or stuff like that. I just call it down. Install LibreOffice, show purposes, except, is this not the same thing as, no, this is an apt-get, so this is Debian. But we can always have a look. You'll be surprised how many solutions I found on Ubuntu forums to fix an Arch Linux. So guys, think out of the box, stop thinking in distros. Linux is Linux. All right. No, don't think we can improve it. We're not gonna make the video just longer. So that's the point. If you find stuff that improves your setup, add it to the script. Last thing, when you have installed everything and everything is looking awesome, you say, I'm gonna move it online, gonna push it back up. And they're also, they're so, let's have a look quickly, quickly, quickly. There is a super tutorial, I think here. Gallery, no start here, um, here. Getting ready for the next phases. This is all about GitHub. Make an account, make your first repository. It's all explained, videos are there, scripts are here. And in just in no time you have a GitHub online. And what I do is before I close everything down and the system might crash at any moment, which it will not, but just to make sure that everything is online, you have this setup here. I'm gonna say, set myself up. By the way, change the variables. Sometimes I see people who have a name called Eric Dubois and an email called uh, this one. So. Um, please change, but use the script. Open terminal here, say setup. Okay, done. He asked the password for, for your root. Now it's set up. All the settings you need to know and not need to bother about, your GitHub is set. Later you can learn about GitHub when you feel like it. That's it, that's enough. 
of course you need to set up and uh, you need to follow the, the videos and so on so the github is already ready the only thing i need to do is press this one git minus v1 and everything write your commit created libreoffice script that's it and then you push it up there it's gonna ask my password well first login password and you'll find it as soon as I posted it, it's shared with the world and it's for you a backup. All right, so this is the way how we're going to proceed. Proceed, learn, test and figure it out. I'm gonna learn something. You'll have a script and you'll learn scripting at the same time. I can, I think it's a win-win for us both. All right, cheers.